Okie dokie. Just once more from the top, shall we? Another restart one. That is A-OK. -okay. So be careful when turning into a sheep, but I still love the idea of using strategic sheep form. So I'll probably risk it in the future, despite now knowing slightly better. Thanks to thanks to Angrath here. But don't love magic darts. Let's let's kick our little card in. Oh, that's way too much force for me to ride it down. And here goes nothing. Oh, did you get blown up by that was seemed like a, a TNT buddy. Oh yeah, there you are. Hello, friend. Let's steal your gold real quick. Ouch, ouch, ouch. There are three kinds of poly, regular, chaotic, and unstable. Ooh, okay, I haven't seen unstable. So there are the three sheeps. Chaotic can turn you into almost anything with few exceptions. And unstable poly will turn you into a random hisi creature specifically. Oh, okay, cool. I haven't seen unstable so far. But otherwise, that definitely all tracks. And look at that. I'm slowly but surely learning to uh, just take a step back when those buddies charge, at least at that range. Sometimes you're better off just ducking your head and hoping they head right over. Oh, get me out of this tiny hallway. Um, water me. Is there a better way to spray myself down than just spraying upwards? That's the only method that I've been using thus far. And it kind of works, but feels a, a wee bit janky at times. Let's definitely grab that gold before it despawns. And onwards we go here. It's always nice when you can find wands in your uh, your first area. Oh gosh. Let's uh, let's see. I think there might have been a way path around here. I can't be too sure. At the very least, this is one bomb away from being a legitimate path. Oh wait, never mind. We can just sneak by some fire. Ouch! Ouch! Spray me. Get out your fire hose real quick, and then see if we can't find a, a way down here, shall we? Oh, my explosive friend. Boom, bada bing, and let's check this out. It is a shuffle, unfortunately, but low cast delay. Nice low recharge time as well, good max mana. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, that's that's quite the machine gun, and at least it has some legitimate damage on it. So, I'll use it temporarily, even though it's not necessarily great long term with the random. That is lovely for now. Fantastic stuff. Brain upwards is best when you're staying with Toxic Slug or trying to wash something out. Swing down at your feet is usually the best way to make a little pool to douse fire. Cool, that is fantastic to know. Thank you. Oh, jeez. That was quite the, quite the tumble, my friend. Let's head over this way. Okay, I thought I immediately submerged myself in a dangerous liquid. No, just highly flammable oil. Don't say how that could possibly go wrong. Fantastic. Would I like a cool usage for poly as a side note? Always. If you use cool as your go-to adjective to describe it, I don't see how I couldn't. Hello, my toxic friend. Oh, gosh. Ah. Stop that. Let's do a little bit of risky hover action. Nope, that was not worth it. Not worth it even a little bit. So never mind, friends. Let's just keep it moving, shall we? Try not to point blank shoot this toxic sludge barrel. That seems less than ideal. Oh gosh, am I? Okay, I thought I was stuck there for a moment. Just have to spam jump a little bit. An egg. Perfect. <laughs> Make a nice little omelet or something. I believe that summons a, a creature out of it when we toss it. But now I know that a lot of those kind of toss consumables are single use. So we can save it for the future. Man, I do love this wand. For how early in the game we got it, this is absolutely fantastic. Helps a lot with the fact that I can't aim worth a dang. So, uh, who needs to aim when you just can absolutely spray and pray to your heart's content then maybe we'll try not to go that far 
By the way, what's the link policy here? You can explain it a bit better with an image. Yeah, as long as it's a, a relevant link, go absolutely nuts. I like to extend a, a certain amount of faith and trust to all the, the lovely viewers that have joined us over my time streaming. So until proven otherwise, I will always extend that same measure of trust, uh, trust to new people as well. I'm ready to be burned by it one day, but up until now, everyone's been absolutely fantastic and lovely. All of you are great people, so it works out nicely. So let's see, this has a relatively low damage. Low cost though, fires pretty fast. In fact, how does this compare? So five plus 0.7, so 10 damage. Moves slower than our bolts. Has a larger cast delay? Hmm. But has a really low spread, so highly accurate, it seems. Kind of want to try it out just for fun. I mean, Fireball, also very fun. This is our starter wand, right? So, get rid of this trash, remove it from my sight. Okay, it's kind of cute. I don't know how useful it'll be. Oh my gosh, another max health? I didn't know it was my birthday. Well, let's definitely grab that. Might also be confusing my runs and it's not another, but simply the first. Excuse me, friend. Oh, we just stunned you. I thought you were supposed to be dead. Just to reuse that joke over and over again, but again, it's so important. You know anything about narratives it's the simple fact that you always got to take into account that people are never dead until you you see the body many a uh, an evil villain has been burned by such things before you play a decent amount of deep rock galactic and hold left click is your fair way to fight in a shooter hey if it works it works and extra bonus if you can play with your eyes closed, right? Makes life a bit easier. What do you think of Deep Rock Galactic, Seyfid? Because it's been on my wish list for a long time. And I think I saw that it was on sale recently even. So I was curious if I should, uh, should branch out into that. I really like looter shooters, and especially when they're, they're co-op ones. That's a huge bonus in my book. Oh gosh, let's not get too... Poisoned by fumes. I didn't get a lot of the gold from our explody little buddy, but that's fine. But there's an invisible hitbox at the corner of the Holy Mountain. If you enter, will trigger the Holy Mountain collapse. If you use a teleport wand, you can teleport past the hitbox without triggering it. Holy, however, is another method because the collapse is only triggered by Mina entering the hitbox. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah, it's like right when you go up that ledge, right? Because I kind of recognize that the general area in which the, the collapse is triggered. That makes sense. Don't mind if I do. Probably shouldn't have picked up the recharge. I don't think we'd use our bombs here. I feel like I'm blending all of the, uh, the runs into one another at this point, so I don't have the best idea of where we're at in this given one. And screw it, I'm just gonna blast a hole in this place. Take me away. Oh, not like that though. So I can create a puddle? Oh, that's so much better. That's fantastic. Oh me oh my. Is that is that gold? No, that's not gold. That's just a, a bloody mess of flesh, of course. Let's just move on, shall we? We have a decent amount of gold looking good here. Real quick. Gonna take a look at this this image just to make sure I understand where the hitbox is. So yeah, it's essentially the entire diagonal portion of the uh, the little pillar that we have to go over to leave the holy mountain. That makes sense. So you can teleport through there, or you can polymorph and walk through. That's pretty cool. That was linked so you can visualize the, the collapse trigger. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than I expected, but otherwise pretty much where I was imagining. So perfect, thank you for that that little bit of information. Especially for, yeah, if we want to ever return to the temple in the future, that seems like a nice way to do it. 
Deep Rock Galactic is a, a great, well-designed game. Playing solo is good. Play with even one friend is great. If, you, if I ever want to play, let you know. Yeah, no, definitely. I might have to pick it up. Very much is um, is up my alley, at the very least. Let's take a look at these wands real quick. We will go to see the perk before we make any final purchases or decisions here, but can I at least take a peek. Oh, I actually misrepresented some of these stats in my mind. Only 60 max mana, but the charge speed is 250, so ridiculously fast recharge but stupidly low max mana and a high recharge time as well. Interesting. That's a, a very fascinating wand. Otherwise, we have two high capacity shufflers here with okay stats, nothing nothing fantastic, nothing to, uh, to write home about at the very least. Oh, I guess these are all a bunch of shuffly buddies, hey? Let's see what our perks are, shall we? Extra one capacity, everyone gets one to three additional slots. Huh. I wish I had better ones before I use that, so let's check out the rest. Dissolve powders we've seen before. All the soft powders will dissolve around us. Hungry ghost summons a happy minion who will eat enemy projectile every now and then. Huh. That interests me. I do love the idea of just saving me, you know, that, that off time, that super rare occurrence that I get hit by projectiles. Definitely not constantly a problem by any stretch of the imagination. Now, knowing how to return without triggering the mount collapse is actually quite important, because if you don't collapse it on your way back, you can still edit your wands when in here. So you could theoretically return with wands found in the level and make better ones as you go. Very cool. That definitely fits into the category of nifty little tricks that can make your life easier moving forward. But you know, I might buy this wand. It's cheap, and I just kind of want to steal effects off of it, if I'm being honest with you. Could definitely throw those onto one of these. This is high max mana, so we could load this up with uh, chain bolts. Let's try it out. Temporarily replace this. I'm gonna steal these. Yeah, I love that it's warning you. Cannot cast. Yeah. No, thank you, game. I fortunately did realize, but... A bit of a weird one there, but I think I am happy, and I will... Throw these... Right, I was thinking onto this one. We can even get rid of these. It's almost pointless because the, uh... Cast delay is so high on these. Oh, I see how this works now. It shifts onto whichever wand you've selected. Nice. I put it into the first slot thinking it always auto-filled the first wand, but that makes sense. Lovely. Swap these around. I'm not really using this final wand yet, but that's kind of nice because it means I can replace it. And it is an explosive, so I guess it can break some stuff. You'd return to reroll later. These perks are actually not so great because the ghosts will also eat your projectiles occasionally. <laughs> Well, that's not what it said on the tin. But okay, let's see. We're just spamming this. Decent rate. The recharge is very slow, but that's fine because we can just use this every once in a while for tougher targets. And I can continue using my uh, my machine buddy here. A little submachine gun. But we don't even necessarily have to return. I have enough gold here. But I think I will just reroll. We could buy another wand, but nothing was jumping out at me. So let's just do it, shall we? And ooh, two new ones. Attract gold. Gold nuggets gravitate towards you. Mostly just handy, I guess, if they drop into a giant raging fire or poison pool, something like that. Peace with gods. You make peace with your gods. Huh. I don't know the other wands. Never mind, lol. <laughs> Oh, yes, apologies for that, but that's fine. We'll just keep moving, live with the mistakes and decisions I make. Because that's the one thing is I'm totally fine with backseating, but I will say sometimes I just get in my head to, to do something and I'll do it before you have the chance to let me know how idiotic I'm being. <laughs> but this is an interesting trait, is it not? Huh. 
These holy rods are actually pretty good if you find a way to destroy parts of the holy mountain to escape. Interesting. Well, I have no idea what that means, but I think I will actually just take this. It's kind of fun. Just to maybe learn what it does, maybe not. Who knows? I'm not a huge fan of the extra perk, now that I know what it actually does. It is really good. It is another opportunity, one less reroll that you may have to buy, so that's pretty solid. But I feel like I was kind of guaranteeing some level of disappointment when I thought for some reason that it would be balanced to give us two perks at every single shrine. Be able to pick up two, I should say. But let's do it. Peace with gods. Regardless of the fact that I may not be aware whatsoever of how to actually use that properly. It'd be nice to make some peace with our gods before our inevitable death and demise, right? It's better than most people get. To immediately put a, a very depressive spin on what was supposed to be a silly joke. Whoopsie daisies. Sometimes my brain just works that way, I guess. Ah, stop that. You know what? That first little bit of gold can just can just chill. I don't need gold that badly. <laughs> I have been burned by such puddles before, and I will not make the same mistake again. At least not within like five minutes, I'm sure. Don't get me wrong. Mistake will be made again. What the heck was that? That was not the monster I thought it was. But it is a nice little little bit of cash. Ooh. Lovely. We set off the, the fireworks. Looks fantastic. <laughs> Beautiful job, me. Absolutely genius. That was the forget what I used to watch like the, the honest trailers back in the day. I do so less now because I like have a more positive outlook on media in general instead of making fun of it, but Prometheus School of Running Away from Things. Let's quickly blast the, the mama slime here. Oh gosh, get me out. Oh, that hurt way more than expected. Thought the slime would give me a nice little buffer, but that makes sense in retrospect. Normally if you destroy the holy mountain, the gods will be angered in a Shopkeeper named Stavari or Steve, as the community calls him. Unless you're prepared properly, it will wreck you. There are ways to cheese the fight with him, but yeah, Steve is a new player's nightmare. You destroy the holy mountain. So that's something that is falling on deaf ears for now. But I'm sure it will make more sense once we're able to get past a certain point in the game. Can I. Oh! Didn't mean to fall directly into the portal there, was just trying to wiggle my way on through, do a little bit of a woogle. But that's a okay. Let's just get moving here, shall we? Unlikely to be able to afford too much, but that's pretty nice. It's not as much of a mana max and charge speed as I'd like. Because I truly just want to be desperately unfair, even though I know I've been told that there's no, like, quick fix, one-size-fits-all solution to just win game. It is interesting. You always enjoy the, the pitch meetings thing Ryan George does for Screen Rant. I'll have to check that out, because I feel like I enjoy a lot of the, like, delivery. I feel like they're very comedic, but it was just the kind of negative grading and kind of nitpickiness that... I think, you know, we all do so much when we're critiquing media, and sometimes I just want to wholesomely enjoy something for no good reason. It can be trash, and I can know it's trash, and that's fine sometimes, even though I feel they also do it lovingly, like it is all in good fun. I think you just have to go in with the, the knowledge and expectation that, uh, that it is a joke. Kind of like the, the Honest Trailers thing. Yeah. There are three main ways to destroy the Holy Mountain. Black holes, luminous drills, and acid. Oh, hey, black holes we've seen before. Interesting. No, it's not actually. There's a, a downwards arc always cast on that wand. Yeah, this thing here that makes them drop down. No idea what this one is. I guess I can not buy this, right? Let's find out. Add mana. Adds 30 mana to the wand? 
on cast. So if things were cheaper than 30, then they would be free. And if they're more expensive, this just replenishes some of the cost, right? Kind of eats it. That's funny. Low max mana, high recharge speed is interesting. I want to save up money. The last one is very good. Not for the one, but for the spells that the chainsaw. It's so scary, though. <laughs> Melee range. Let's see what our perks are regardless. Take a quick peek here. Phasing. Projectiles seemingly phase through you. Interesting. Rage-fueled levitation. Killing an enemy makes you replenish some of your levitation power. <laughs> okay, infinite float as long as we're killing things. Or wand radar. You can sense nearby wands. I don't care too much about that one. Generally, I'm happy to just do some uh, searching myself. Chainsaws have a few special effects to keep note of. Because, yeah, they also... I think even just reading it, it mentions that they... Uh, they chew through material as well, right? But I think out of these, don't like wand radar. Rage field levitation is kind of fun, but doesn't seem that amazing generally. Just land for a second. Hopefully there's a safe spot. So it's gotta be phasing. Way too expensive of a reroll. And I hate projectiles. We're about to head into the ice caves too. Heck yeah, bud. Phasing is actually pretty good here. Well, hey, fantastic. I'm actually on the same page there, so that works for me. So, in order to get back through to here, I need a decent amount of firepower. We'll look at the wand and hover the chainsaw to see its stats. So, if I can't afford it, I'm not able to, correct? Like, mousing over here does nothing? Am I missing something here? But hopefully we can get some money and be back and then I can let you know what my thoughts are, what my, my guess is on the what may or may not be included in that special effect. Can't not trigger the explosion here, I'm pretty sure. Can you also not trigger the explosion with the, the laser drill? Because we dug through the floor back there with the laser drill, which means we could just drill out through this wall, right? have to keep that in mind for the future as well but okie dokie we'll just see either we'll make it back through the wreckage or we can just bail out and not worry about the wands depending on how we're feeling any given sunday son of a gun laser drill is luminous drill exactly yeah that's the one i was thinking of oh and yeah that was one of the three in your list of, of things that can destroy the temple that makes sense no, I think I was thinking of the, the luminous drill as well. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, gee. Oh, those hurt really bad. Yep. And they stun? Ooh, boy. Let's quickly uh, recharge my levitation juice so I can jump and rinse myself off. And never go back that way again. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Help me. Help me. <laughs> um, hmm. What can I do here? I can shoot some of the ice, probably. Ice is fairly fragile. Oh, it's right in the middle of my chest. There we go. Fantastic. Plasma beam can break through the holy mountain, but so slowly they probably go insane before escaping. <laughs> Or was there real fast? Okay, that's, I'll keep that in mind the next time we get stuck. I know that I've definitely wiggled my way out of some precarious situations in the past. So that, that tracks. Let's see here. What do we have with you? No shuffle. Decent max mana. Good charge speed too. Okay. I could probably get behind this. It's slightly more of a recharge time than this buddy, but the max man on this is not too important. So I'd rather put all of these chain bolts on this, really. No idea what dropper bolts are, but regardless, this one gets replaced. That's that's nice and straightforward. Now that's a wand. You replace wand four, perfect. Already ahead of ya. Oh, frozen vapors, of course. Always forgetting about that. There's a reason why ice caves is generally where I meet my death, and it's because I don't pay attention to my health until it's too late. 
So let's try and avoid that, shall we? And even though it doesn't matter whatsoever, let's let's eat some some flesh here. And we'll just keep zigzagging a little bit. Should probably find the exit first. In fact, yeah, let's find the exit first, and then we can always come back through if we're still looking pretty healthy. Again, we've been burned before by thinking that we were in a good spot. Oh my gosh. Stop that. Can I shoot you from further than you can shoot me? No, not really. Ah. Don't sneak up on me like that, friend. That's not cool. Now they explain why chainsaw is so important. Sounds good. How dare you, snipers. Not even close, my friend. I guess we could try and go back to the temple now, right? We have enough gold for it. Don't know if we have enough um, explosive punch power, but that's something we could learn at runtime. So let's check this bad boy out. Crazy long recharge time. Over three seconds is rough. Five spells per cast, so it casts everything at once. What I get from that? Cause the projectile to accelerate as it flies. Chaotic path. I know what happens when you have a chaotic path projectile. I have a giant gigasaw shaped scar to, to prove it. Okay. Don't hit me with frozen vapor, please. Oh my gosh. That's, this is the second time we've seen a worm. And it is absolutely terrifying. Let's also stop freezing ourselves in vapor. So the last time we saw the giant worm like this, we did not kill them. Are you coming back for come back for more? You want more of this, the son of a gun? Concentrated mana. Who want what? Coward? Oh, never mind. There you are. I mean, still still think you're a coward, just because fight something your own size and all that, you know? Let's get this son of a gun real quick. Oh gosh. Real quick being uh, a relative phrase for sure. I'm so used to like terraria worm monsters where anytime you shoot them, each segment you hit does extra damage. Ooh, you're also... Oh, I see. You actually make holes. How about that? You want to just open up the entire level for me? I wouldn't mind. Jeez, that recharge speed is rough. I'm excited to change up our, our loadouts here a little bit. Yeah, sorry. Angrath, I'll read your, uh, your thing in a second here. I don't know when this worm is going to show their face. I guess I can just read it now, actually, seeming as how they ran away. Maybe they were too low health. Oh, ground is a-shaking. I hear the rumbling. I hear that train a coming. Where did you go? You went this way? You were bleeding everywhere. Should I hunt you down? Anyway, this is a good pause opportunity. So Chainsaw in itself removes some recharge time, so that's pretty good. But the real reason it's so good is that at the end of a multicast, it'll remove all cast delay. In short, multicasts plus chainsaws are your path to machine gun wands. Okay, that's that's wild. I guess it makes sense because it's an instant attack that happens at the wand, so you can kind of supplement things. That's a neat little trick for sure. Let's take a peek at this, shall we? Hmm. And we can kind of compare it against this blue wand that we're a huge fan of. Slightly better cast delay and recharge time. Actually, quite a bit better in terms of cast delay. Recharge time, a, a bit for sure. So lower capacity... Still very good, I feel. I mean, do I feel comfortable getting rid of this wand? I should almost get rid of my bombs, but I also desperately need those. Increase the damage done by a projectile. Slow fiery bolts. Let's replace this for a second. Let's see. Yeah, that's actually probably just a better version. Not quite as fast in terms of... Um, Projectile speed, but lovely in general. Excuse me, friends. Just on my way through. Have you seen my giant worm? Hey! There he is! 
Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I'm on fire. Stop that. I don't even know what blew up up there. I'd like to not die. I'm on track for something spectacular here. Probably shouldn't... Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Can use those to dig as well. Good to know in the future for sure. <laughs> don't follow a worm into its hole. At least give it a moment. So silly. Oh man, that was fun though. Go up into the rig? Never mind. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Oh man, we have fun here though. We have fun here. So, I think I have time for one more run. So let's hope it's a good one. One more half decent run at the very least. If we die immediately, we'll not count that towards the, the count here. So let's see how it goes. Thank you, Angreth, for, for following as well. I appreciate you coming to check us out in the first place, helping out, offering all this lovely advice. And now for the follow as well. I appreciate it. So, okie dokie. Snow potion. Boo. Spark bolt. Boo. Let's do it, shall we? Let her rip. Go. Yes! Oh my gosh, we haven't gotten to do the full ride in such a long time. Oh, it feels good, man. Feels good, man. No problem, sir. Would it like some starter advice? Go to the left. So, okay, yeah, I've noticed one time I got a chest to the left. One time I wasted a bunch of explosion charges to get into a cave I found over there and got absolutely nothing out of it. But I'll have to check it out again in the future. If this run uh, ends right away, then we can check it out tonight. Otherwise, we'll have to wait for the next session here. But regardless, I'll keep it in mind. Hello, my impatient pals. Always jumping right into the thick of things. Can I... Nope. Got poison. <laughs> Trying to get sneaky. To the tree. There was a tree. So you don't start with water. Often there's water at the base of the tree. Ooh, okay. Do you oftentimes find yourself, like, um, emptying your initial potion and just filling it with water at the first opportunity? Because I've been thinking about that concept more and more as of late. Oh gosh, don't spray me with oil. So I enjoy having some just plain water sometimes. Nice safe option, especially since I've been learning that a lot of liquids don't do a great job at putting out fire. At least not as good of a job as I'd like. <laughs> And it's not even the obvious ones, like spraying yourself with flammable oil. Ooh. Let's ignore that. And I'll have to decide in the future. I think the first time I found a giant worm, we, uh, we skipped it. We just ran past, I think it was right by the portal, so we were able to just jump in. Oh gosh, I can't aim. Oh, my shotgun friends. Stop it. There we go. Much better. Oh, double wand. Fantastic. Let's take a peek, shall we? One numero uno here. Um, good max mana. I mean, decent. It's just better than what we currently have. I was going to say except for slots, but no, we started with a two slaughter. No matter what, we of course slotted in there, as always. And yes, you do. Water is one of the most important resources. If you start with poly, you'll sometimes play risky, but usually you beeline towards water. Makes sense, yeah. I've definitely only leaked out a couple of liquids in the past to replace them, and it was only after I had multiple bottles, but pretty much every run, I start thinking to myself more and more that I should probably just have the, uh, the, the OG classic water itself. Excuse me real quick. I should go get that gold, though. It does add up. 10 gold each time. And let's get her moving here. There are some potions lying around. I actually left one back the way we came, where the double one setup was. Please don't step in poison. Steal this. Steal this. Hover, hover, hover. And chaotic polymorphine potion. Very interesting. So far, I'm 
uh, unsure about the chaotic. The the verdict is still out because it has saved my life one time and it has also literally killed me another time. Though to be fair, it's because I didn't notice or know whatsoever that we'd also get the attack from uh, whatever monster we turn into. So blew myself up, which was an avoidable, avoidable mistake, shall we say. Can I like fiddle my way through here if I'm real sneaky? Probably not. Are you eating your friend? Don't do that. Unless they ask for it. Well, that gold's just gonna go to waste, but that's fine. One of the best Noida teachers, known as Dunker Slam, made a beginner's guide, and he advises a, a beginner quest to get water. That's funny. In fact, I've actually definitely watched a little bit of Dunker Slam, just because one of the, uh, the friends that I've made in the DCSS community, Ninth Settler, usually or oftentimes raids Dunker Slam at the end of their DCSS streams. So yes, yeah, seems like a, a lovely individual and definitely seems to be quite well versed in the game. So that's funny. I'll have to t take a look at their stuff one day, especially a, a beginner guide could be nice. I liked going into the game blind to start out with. The surprises have been a lot of fun, especially since this is a game that gets me quite a bit jumpier than most. It's funny, I've played like uh, a decent amount of Phasmophobia where you're hunting literal ghosts. And that's scary. That gives me like the, the crawly feelings, but it does not make me jump like this game does. Every time I get surprised by a shotgun blast to the face, I definitely kind of hop up. So snow cannot rinse, is this correct? Ah, that's why water is better than snow. Well, Oh jeez, um... Oh, that was an enemy. That makes sense. You're a little bit hidden in there, friend. Didn't notice you at first. You mean you, you hope he's well-versed with Dunk having over 4,000 hours and all? Hey, hey, never know. Never know, especially with games as in-depth as this. And with Sony, yeah, like, little tips and tricks as you've, you've mentioned it here see it being a bit of a tough preposition regardless of play hours for some people to uh, to figure out all the the little bits and bobs but definitely cool snow cannot wash off stains but oh there's a puzzle would i like the answer a puzzle so i'm guessing it's how can i use snow to wash off stains can i melt snow because that would be my my first go-to let's uh let's do some testing i might not have the necessary pieces to the puzzle yet this is a fiery explosive projectile. Is this metal? No, up. Oh. Oh, here. Is this a puzzle? It's always tough with the, the steam, uh, stream delay to, to know whether I'm in the right place. So I'll just wait here for a second. Take it as a nice opportunity to just hydrate. Make sure I'm in a good spot. Use the magic missile to burst the wood on the side of the metal. So let's see. Where's the... Where's the wood? I'm just mousing over stuff looking at the, uh, the qualifiers here. Should I just blast in here somewhere? Maybe at the side? This is ground. Ground. This wood. Oh! <gasps> oh, okay. No, no, no. Hold up. Don't spoil any more. I'm sorry if you're in the middle of typing, but I have a guess. Oh. Is that a problem? That's not what my guess was. This is a problem if my guess was correct, so I'm hoping I was wrong. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, okay, so I think my guess was right. It was to transfer the liquid from there to there was what I was gonna try. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> Magic missile, you've screwed me again. Well, hopefully I run into that in the future. That seems kind of fun and silly. I enjoy little little hidden puzzles being thrown into my, my roguelites every now and then. This might not be worth it. But I'm going to do it. I can still do it if I find oil somewhere else, though. And ideally somewhere that's relatively close. Oh jeez, that that recharge is a, a wee bit rough. One more shot. Again, might not be the most efficient use of our, our magic missile charges. 
does not need to be that specific oil. Good to know. Did I see any oil? I probably did come across a decent amount. But kind of far from here. Hmm. Let's do a quick scan, shall we? Also... That seems less than ideal. You know what? Screw it. I know we've already... It's a bit of a sunk cost kind of fallacy going on here, but I'm going to keep going. Keep digging here. Maybe this bottle will be oil if I don't break it open with this shot. Maybe I'll aim a bit low. <laughs> Sneak through. A chili egg. Huh, how about that? Excuse me, friend. Fantastic. No, it is a game that will teach you patience through pain. Well, that explains why I'm struggling. Oh my gosh, don't. No. You son of a gun. Oh, and I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> That's fine, I couldn't handle the disappointment of the oil. Such a shame. Oh, that would have been definitely close enough to check it out. Now I have even more reason to uh, to kill the denizens of the dungeon. Yeah, definitely, I have some chance.